it's Anna and welcome back to my channel if you're wondering why I'm wearing a jacket like this it's because I don't want to show you the final product of what I'm wearing you will have to see the entire video to find out what I'm wearing today I'm bringing to you guys a conspiracy theory and a get ready with me as I get ready to go to the movies today I really really hope you guys enjoy this video and if you do leave a like comment and subscribe all my other social media will also be down linked below so please just go follow me on all of that love you guys let's get hey guys so I'm gonna jump right into this video since I already filmed well I probably I I didn't already film my intro because that intro was done after I did my makeup and I'm gonna fix this curtain as I was just saying I haven't filmed my intro yet because I'm gonna film the af intro after I do my makeup but I'm gonna start off this video by priming my face and then we'll get start talking about the conspiracy theory I have for you guys today so the the primer that I use is Clinique super primer and it works so well but I realized recently also I have a super oily face so this is really a good primer if you have an oily face I'm not claiming to be a beauty I'm not claiming to be a beauty guru at all but if you have an oily face I really recommend this primer plus Clinique has really has some really good skin stuff that works really nice on the face so if you ever need a primer this is kind of what it looks like um and while that sets in we're gonna jump right into uh, the conspiracy theory I have. So I have my little notebook that kind of matches the setting of my room. Um, so the conspiracy theory I have for you guys today is called the Deep Water Horizon. Well, the conspiracy isn't called that. That's what happened. So the Deep Water Horizon, if many of y'all didn't, many y'all, many of you guys don't remember, was the oil spill committed by BP and. On April 20th, 2010. I have my, my little research notes here. Um, this happened in, in the Gulf of Mexico, and if you guys don't know where that is, that's like Texas, and then Florida, and then right there. So if not, I'm just gonna insert. Um, so the Deepwater Horizon was the oil spill committed by BP in 2010. And this uh, oil spill, I don't remember, I don't know if you guys remember, but it was huge. It was so big that even Disney was making like when I first heard about the oil spill I was really confused what happens to all the animals in the ocean I didn't feel it was a really big environmental issue at the time and like I remember this as if though it were recently oh my god there's a bee outside my window I'm sorry um but it was it was huge it was an international thing uh, many nations got together to try and help clean our um, coastlines because our coastlines were full of oil our marine animals were dying and well not ours the oceans marine animals um if you don't remember it was it was the largest oil spill and it's i think it still is i don't remember if it still is but i believe it still is it was 4.9 ton barrels 4.9 million barrels of oil that were spilled into the ocean that's around what they believe what it was because it was uh, an oil drill so we don't know what it was exactly and right now I'm taking Lancome's foundation um, it is 310 bis C I don't know if that's stand for something I'm so dumb that I don't know that uh, I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm doing with my look today, just so you guys know. I'm wearing a kind of a plain t-shirt right now, but I'm going out to movies. Um, since it's going to be a daytime look, I think I'm just gonna go with a little golden eyeshadow. I got a few new lipsticks that I'm gonna try for you guys. I got them at five and below, and I'm just gonna try them out for you guys. So yeah, that's kind of our little plan for today, if I didn't say it in the intro. Um, I was also kind of planning it out in my head right now. So as we get into this can ah, okay. Oh god, my thumb's covering it. So I will be back in just this amount of time because I have to go uh, help my brother with this book. So I will be right back. That's why the lighting's gonna change. You guys aren't gonna see the change, but the lighting will. So I'll be back. Hey guys, I am back and I'm looking like a rat. Okay, so um, I just finished doing what I was doing, and in between my foundation and my concealer, which my Maybelline Atroline concealer. I was gonna talk to you guys a little bit more about my conspiracy theory, but since it's already dry, I put on my concealer, put on my powder, wait for my pot while my powder bakes, I will tell you a little bit more. So I like to put my concealer on my spots, and since I got a facial done the other day, 
I have a few extra spots than usual because she likes to touch my face. Okay, I got interrupted again. Okay, so I like to put my concealer where I have spots, like I said earlier. Then I would like, I love to put it right here because it really defines the jawline that I don't have. So it creates one. And then I like to put some right there, right here, I already put some. Um, right in between the nose, in between the nose, on the nose, and up in the forehead. Um, my concealer is really light, so you will see a trick I'm going to do later to darken it is with my powder, which I use for contour and for bronzing. Um, sorry, I just organized my set into a whole new thing and I don't see where everything is. Uh, my makeup into a new thing. Okay, so while I'm blending this in, I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit more of this oil spill because then it's it gets into the important part. I also like to dab all of the extra I had from underneath my eyes onto my upper lip and onto my chin. I don't know why, I just like that look. Um, so after the oil spill, a lot of people were asking for, uh, not revenge, but for repercussions for this company for this oil spill. And there was multiple investigations um, about this oil spill, more than one. I think um, BP also demanded there be more than one investigation just because uh, they didn't want it to be judged because of what they'd done, if that makes any sense. I feel like I did not explain myself correctly there. But um, there were multiple investigations, multiple people sent down, and I think what they figured out was that it was partially the contractor's fault and partially BP's fault. It, uh, it was BP's fault because they were careless and they didn't uh, check what the contractor had done. And it was the contractor's fault as well because they hadn't um, built it correctly. So what they had done was to save money, um, use weaker cement. And this caused there to be holes and in the end, uh, it to spill everywhere. Um, so as I go, uh, Sorry, I'm making sure it's all blended and everywhere. So, uh, after the oil spill, people were asking for the repercussions, as I said before. Now, sorry, I like to brush these out for a minute. Um, people were asking for reper repercussions. People wanted court cases. People wanted to find out who had done what. And, uh, this caused for a lot of hysteria in the court cases. So the, um, as well, 11 people also died and 17 were injured um, in this, the oil spill. So uh, after multiple court, after multiple, multiple, after a lot of time in the court cases, um, the courts decided, and I think it was Supreme Court, but I'm not positive. Um, the courts decided that BP was going to be charged with 11 counts of manslaughter, two misdemeanors, um, a felony uh, f count for lying to Congress, and then four years of government monitoring, which they agreed to. They agreed to this last one because they felt as though, I think they did it more for in political sense where they wanted um, it to look better among the people so that they could still sell gas after this. Um, I think they that's why they agreed to the last one. But there were very heavy, 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 heavy charges. And the government did not take this case lightly, just in the sense that it was very nationalized, very nationally broadcasted. People were very upset with the situation and people wanted revenge on, for, revenge on the company for what had happened. Um, so after I bake my face, which I use the one plus one matte loose setting powder from Miniso, which is a, a company that's, I think is based in Australia, but is more Chinese. It's received a lot of backlash because people think that they're copying Jap Japanese style for their own benefit, but I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes drama starts for drama reasons and I don't know. Um, so while my powder is setting, I like to put in some eyeshadow that really, I don't know, that's really what I like doing. So the one that I'm using right now is a CoverGirl one. 
Um, I really like this golden color. And then I go in with um, a Mary Kay brush, eye blending brush, and I lightly just powder it, just because I'm kind of going for more of a natural look tonight, because I'm hanging out with friends and I don't really want to be extra. And I usually am really extra, and putting on makeup is already extra for that. Um, yeah. So I go in with this, and I just kind of put it everywhere on the eye. And it really lightens the eye. And then I really like going in with a lighter one. I can find my lighter one. Ha, I found my lighter one. So I really like going in with this MAC, the Violet Blend, and going in with this really, really, really light one down here, because it kind of looks like a highlighting color. With that same brush, I like going in right there. And if that brush doesn't want to work, which usually it does, I go in with the uh, another brush I have, which is kind of like a Morphe brush, but I don't think it's Morphe brush. Um, and I just put it in right there just because it brings in color to my inner corners. And then I'll go in with my finger. Ah, ah. some of my powder. Ah. I still have powder on my face, so that's not eyeshadow, I promise. And after that, I like to put those two away. I don't really do a liner just because I already have like bright blue eyes. <laughs> but if I'm really feeling it, kind of like I am today, um, I take my black long line Bare Minerals, which I received as a birthday gift. And I just like to put it in my outer corners. Just because it brightens your eyes a little bit and makes them a little more fierce. Um, yeah. Um, so let's keep going. So the 11 counts of manslaughter were the, the 11 people that had died and that's why that that was there. The two misdemeanors, I don't know what those were for. Um, and then the felony count for lying to Congress was, I think they were in, I think this is what they explained was, that this was a contract with the US government and since they had lied about the, the type of products they had used to, the type of foundations that they used to build the oil drill, um, people were very upset, uh, the government was very upset because they hadn't told the truth about their design and the outer structure. Um, I got these new unicorn brushes and I bought them for like $7 for a set of 12 and they're just the best thing and they're literally the prettiest thing. I bought them from a friend because she didn't want them anymore. Um, but after I let the setting powder set, I go in with the same brush and I just kind of brush the excess off which is kind of everything and after that i like to go in with my h&m golden honey sonar flare bronzing powder and since i don't really like using a strong i don't really like when it's a harsh contour line just because i think it doesn't look good oh and i broke this the other day i forgot i had broken this um i don't really like going in with a harsh contour line I go in with a sort of fluffy brush, sort of circular fluffy brush, get, dip into the into the bronzing powder and build the contour line right there. And I know that already looks harsh, I know, I know. But then I take it and I kind of blend it out. So while this blends, while I'm blending this out, I'm gonna talk about a little bit what else happened um, in this court case. Um, the EPA, which is the Environmental uh, Protection Agency, after this demanded that bp be banned from um any government contract with uh bp banned from any government contract like any u.s government contract and i think they accepted these terms um it ended up costing at first 4.525 4.525 billion dollars in uh, fines and uh first settlements civil cases that's what it was at first then in february 2013 so three years after they had the oil spill they were still in court cases so yeah as you can see i'm kind of taking the bronzing powder and going over the areas where it's a little lighter um and then after three years it was 42.2 billion dollars in fines settlement cases um repaying what they had spilled <coughs> the cost of cleaning up um and then lastly in july of 2015 they settled with uh, a supreme district court 
in, for $18.7 billion. So I think that is one of the largest settlements. I think that's what the website was saying, which I was reading. I was reading it on Wikipedia, so if you want to, it'll be linked below. <laughs> um, so as you can see, I don't really like doing a harsh contour line. I just like doing a softer one and then going over it with this. And then I'll go in and darken the areas, which are a little lighter that I don't really like. Um, Um, so as you can see, that's kind of what I did, and that's what it looks like. Uh, so, now you may be wondering, what are the conspiracy theories that are surrounding this Ano? You haven't talked about a single one. Well, now I'm getting to that, because to understand conspiracy theories, you need to understand a little bit of background. So the first, well, this part isn't really a conspiracy theory, but more of like a weird fact and weird coincidence, was the day that this happened, April 20th, on two, in two, 2010, was April 20th is the birthday of Hitler and it's two, and it's I think it's two days before this uh two days before Earth Day that year so it was just a weird placement of when this happened people just were kind of confused on why this happened and uh why the date was just so weird in relationship to what it was going around the world um, so that's just a weird coincidence slash maybe it's a conspiracy theory that the government was trying to, or someone was trying to show that all evil things happen on this day. I don't know. <laughs> so the first conspiracy theory, and I just took some brow powder and did this. Um, so the first conspiracy theory is that, um, that this happened because eco-warriors wanted to happen this. Now if you don't know what eco-warriors are, these are the ones that fight, um, Big business. Big business. Uh, corporations. Issues around the world. Anything that they see fit. Sorry, I was trying to do something, but I don't really like how that looks, so I'm not going to do it. Um, so anything which they believe is harming the environment, which this, they believe that this, the conspiracy, conspiracy is that they knew that this building was not going according to contract and was harming the environment around it and that's why they went and destroyed or caused a large enough issue for the whole thing to come down in shambles. It was to show that, hey, like, we're here, we will fight back to whatever we see fit and we will fix whatever is going around in this world. Um, so that is the first conspiracy surrounding uh, that. The second conspiracy theory is that, uh, this was caused this was an act of terrorism or an act of war because soon after it happened in florida obama sent because obama was the president at the time obama sent uh swat teams i am taking my cara beauty i don't know if it's, yeah it's showed for a second cara beauty h108 l h l 108 um highlighting pattern and I'm just taking that right there on the high bones um so Obama sent a SWAT team down into the area soon after and I think that this one isn't the truest one just because of the fact that Obama could have sent the SWAT team down just because they, he believes that it was an act of terrorism not because it was actually an act of terrorism and also he sent it down just to to be there just in case someone decided to take advantage on the situation and um, stop the act of terrorism if it was an act of terrorism. Um, or stop the threat of an actual terrorism on top of the situation. Um, I don't know if that makes any sense. The third one is that this was a submarine attack from uh, North Korea and North Korea was searching to uh, harm South Korean contractor which was receiving a lot of money for South Korea and in result they were also harming the US so it was like a double plus for North Korea and that is that conspiracy theory the last conspiracy theory is that this was caused by the US government now this one is the one that people are like why would this be well I think that the US government did this more so Obama did this to cause a uh, more like poll election votes for him not election votes uh more positivity for him if obama was seen as a hero uh during this situation how that really hurt uh then people would approve of him more he would have more of an approval in office 
it would just be a better situation overall. I'm crying because I poked myself in the eye. Um, and that's why that one is the most believable in my opinion. Not just because it, it would have had a lot of pos political positive um, repercussions for Obama if he was seen as the hero in this situation. That's why they were so strict on BP. That's why they caused so many fines. That's why the settlement was so large. I think it was in the sense that, hey, like, this will happen. No one's going to know about it. And the government is going to be seen as the hero in this entire situation. It also probably built a lot of good press for, hey, we need to be more uh, environmentally aware. We need to fix situations around us. We can't be allowing them to uh, build such large contraptions, cause so much damage, but kill so much marine life. So I think that one is the one that is the most believable. Um, I just took the mascara was bare minimal, bare minerals lash nomination. I swear by this mascara. It's not clunky. It's not better than sex mascara. I don't like better than sex mascara. Um, that one is the one I die for. Um, and then I take since I'm doing more of a like, oh no, I'm gonna do my good lipsticks. So that is my little conspiracy theory, the the Deepwater Horizon. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna make this a series where I take conspiracy theories and I talk about them while I do a little get ready with me. Each little get ready with me is gonna be a little different, but they're gonna be more basic lips that you can wear out into town. Now, the uh, lipsticks I got are these metallic versus, uh, matte lipsticks and I got all I got three of them I got two matte ones and one metallic one and I am going to open this and try it on each one and show you guys if they really work does this thing really work I love bunny and I'm so happy that she's recreating her brand go good for you ah oh, when she showed the club I don't know if you guys have seen the video but Shane Dawson um, just went down to Texas to save her channel he's making this a new series and bunny was her his first person and oh she is my life i've always really loved her videos i don't know why i stopped watching them i think i just got a little too grown up for them and i kind of feel bad that i did i just didn't like realize like i was watching shane more i got into studying a lot more i can't open this so i'm gonna get a scissor i got scissor my look is slaying. I'm also gonna change and show you guys that after, but that'll be my little bonus. So I'm putting on first a little bit of lip balm. I know it doesn't, but this is to not damage my lips. This is an EOS mint lip balm. The only Leo EOS thing I swear by. All the other stuff causes my lips to chap. That's a conspiracy theory in itself. Uh, lip balms causing lips to chaps and it actually came out to be true i think the companies that were doing it were eos chapstick there's a few and they were i think they were sued even but yeah so this one is called sugar this color the one that i just opened is called sugar and it came with it came with a little lip paint in the color sugar and the lip effect powder. So how do we put this on? So I'm gonna read you guys the instructions from the other one. Um, directions, start with clean dry lips. Just kidding, I'm taking off my lip balm. <laughs> um, then you do shake the tube of lip paint before application. Use the wand inside the cap to apply junkies, tattoo junkies, that's what it's called lip paint to the lips. Lip paint is a stay all day dry smudge proof formula. When the lip paint is still wet, you may also dab into the effects pot and apply effects to your lips for a purely prismatic pout. Okay, so I'm gonna do sugar first. So I'm gonna take sugar, I'm gonna speed this up and ready, set, speed. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with the smell. The smell is literally uh, the Kylie Jenner lip kit smell. I don't know if you guys have ever smelled it. And now I'm going to take the effects pot. Oh, it has a plastic on top. And I'm going to take a little bit of this. Mm 
Okay. I love the color. I love the nude. It really goes with what I'm thinking about wearing tonight, which I will show you in a little bit. But the powder does nothing. That makes me really sad. Like the effect, the whole effects powder thing does nothing. It literally. It's like egg glitter and I don't like how it feels. I don't like it. I don't like the powder, I like the thing on its own. I really like this. So that was sugar and I will show you the rest of that. Okay, so the next one I'm doing is called Obsessed and it is the metallic one. And while I will be right back to clean my face. Okay, so I just put on the color Obsessed, and I'm going to put on the powder. Since the powder is the exact same as the other one, I'm not going to open the new one because I don't want to open the new one. Um, it says Obsessed at the bottom. Maybe I should put this one underneath, but it's literally the same exact thing. No, I'm putting the one that I... Okay, so this is not going to make any difference. It's just going to make us. See, it made no difference. It just makes a mess. I'm going to get the last color, but I'm not gonna put the powder on it just because I don't like what the powder does. And it's really hard to remove the powder. Obsessed smells the same, and the metallic color is really pretty. Okay, so the last color I have on is called Skinny Dip, and that's what this packaging looked like. It smelled the same as the other two. This is probably the one that I'll wear tonight, but the difference with this one is that the glitter is different. By the way, I have glitter everywhere, so that's just a small little tidbit. Um, I'm gonna put some of this glitter on right now. Let's see how it changes this one. Okay, this is the only glitter that I actually like. All the other ones were very bad. Uh, a trick I learned is that it says to put it on while it's wet. I would say put it on when it's almost dry because it still gets everywhere. Don't like it, just kidding. No, nope. it's my favorite out of the three, but I don't like it. So I'm gonna finish my look and I will be back with my finished look. And I'm back, so this is my final look. As you can tell, I put on a rainbow strip tank top uh, that very accentuates my shoulders. Um, I also put on some black leggings. And to finish this look off, I will be putting on my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Setting Spray. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Before I send it off, I'm going to be doing some slow-mo posing, so let's get it.
really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really hope you enjoy everything I've showed you. I really hope you like the conspiracy theory. If you do, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you want me to do a specific conspiracy theory, I have a few that I want to do, but if you want a specific one, just comment down below and I'll talk about it, I'll research it, I'll do it all for you, girl. <laughs> and I really hope you guys enjoy. My name's Anna and this is me signing you off. Bye.